This lecture, we're going to demonstrate how to manage your comm serve from another server. Let's say you want to manage it from another server totally. Um, because you log into the comm serve, this guy here, and it puts a, puts a strain on your comm serve. Maybe your comm serve is not as beefy as you'd like it to be. So then you would just manage it uh, from another location. So in order to do that, you would need to um, log in to the com so by default, right? Your um, when you install Commvault and you and you get it up on iOS and all that stuff, right? You have the um, the web server essentially logged in the com serve. What happens is this: y your um, to log in to the server, the com serve from another location, you would type in your like HTTP then the whack whack and then your com serve name port 81 slash console that's the default by the way so let's give that a try so this is the com serve we're gonna log into our active directory server and try to um, open up a com serve uh, browser session so this is our active directory server or um, right we're gonna we're gonna just pull up Internet Explorer and then go from there. So we pull up Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer. So we're going to type in this this URL into the Windows the Internet Explorer. That's our port 81. So the comserve name dot domain name port 81 slash console. Push enter. Okay. Looks like it's starting to do something here. Looks like it's going to... Okay, so what it does is it asks you to open or save a Galaxy J, uh, JNLP file. So we're going to save it as... Save as... We're going to put it on our desktop, actually. If you don't have Java uh, on your computer, you want to download that, by the way. We're going to put it... Uh, Save it there. Save it. Override it. Yep. Okay, now it's downloaded. So we're going to just uh, close it out there. Close that. Move that over. Close this. We don't need that one. Close this one. We don't need that one. Okay. So now Galaxy is here. So we just double click on it. Let me minimize the screen here. Minimize you. Minimize you. Okay. Starting to load locations. Trying to load the or starting the application. It's still loading. Uh, the application is still loading. So we're going to give it uh, a couple minutes. So you're prompted with this um, pop up here. Do you want to run this application? Of course you do. Right. So we want to run that. So let's just click on run. So it's kind of nice. So uh, you're able to log in any um, any computer, basically on the network, on the domain, right? And you're able to just log in and view the com serve. And of course, based on your Active Directory permissions, that's the val that's the permission. Those are the permissions you're going to get in the com serve. Okay, Commvault's coming up. Okay, since I'm logged in as admin on this server, it's going to automatically do a single sign-on for me. So over here, back at the Commserve, I just want to show you real quick where that setting is at. It's on. Uh, we're going to go to click on Configuration, and then Email and Web Server. So uh, Email and Web Services. Then we're going to click on Web Server. Okay. So you'll probably notice a couple of things here, right? So if you wanted to change the alternative, meaning that port 81 alternative web server for URL admin, or add-in rather, right? You could do this, um, meaning you can change whatever it is. For instance, console, you can change um, whatever it is you want um, for this. The When you log in to another server in the com serve, that is that... For instance, you can change, let's say, console, you just give it a different port name, and you can log into a 
um, the console or if it's like a different server altogether you could do that or an IP address altogether you could do that as well so yeah that's uh, that's a pretty cool feature actually so let's, let's, uh, let's leave it like it was before actually alternatively you could use another web server if you wanted to uh, and then you have your FTP server as well um, this is if you want to um, upload files um, for your FTP server and then your email server meaning like I'm gonna email Commvault some stuff right and it's gonna come from this test user and this address and um, you can set up your, your mail port on uh, um, I uh, port rather or mail server port rather and your mail server um, uh, mail server actually so we're gonna head back over to our um, our domain controller and law and finish logging in to the com serve from that server so I'm logged into the the com serve but on the actual uh, act directory server so yeah that's that's the difference here so so I'll just show you the two right the back one is the com serve itself and this guy here he's the active directory server so you know what what's the what's the point of this why do you want to do this what's the reason so I think I reiterate right you're doing this so that you can log in to the com server from somewhere else meaning your desktop and you're not putting strain or resources or um, uh, some servers people don't have like a license to where you can have like as many people logging in as possible say you have like I don't know 10 Commvault admins or whatever or 10 people who want to access the Commserve well in this case you can have them access it because you're not all having to log into the server um, and then you know it, the, the server itself is taking a beating basically because people are logging in and people don't most people just like close it they don't log out properly right so eventually the server will um, have issues or problems uh, with that and I've seen it to where even the server will reboot <laughs> actually in some cases um, if you just and I know it's it's kinda odd and it shouldn't work that way but it does unfortunately sometimes so in our anyway in our case um, so we're just yeah we're logging into the the com server for uh, this with another from a different server basically anyway at any rate, um, that's how you do it. It's awesome stuff, so thanks for viewing this tutorial. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com, and the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault, Get a High Paying Job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.